Hey, what's going on there, guys? Greg and I are here with the M15 draft overview here with a sealed booster pack of M15. Uh, it's been quite some time since we've done one of these. It's been months, actually. Yeah, uh, figured with uh, the release of 2015 Corset that it would be a good time to bring this series back. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, let's see. Let's see what we have in this pack, and then we'll discuss, like, the top five picks or something like that. We're still at the shop. We just got done with... Uh, with magic and this is coming out of prize packs uh but razor foot griffin uh fugitive wizard hammer hands divine favor naturalize and artifacts are pretty big in this set so naturalize is a little bit better than i think last year it was um child of night elvish mystic uh eternal thirst uh netcaster spider one of my favorites rot feaster maggots Staff of the Flame Magus, Shrapnel Blast, Profane Memento, and Perexian Revoker is the rare, and then a Plains Edit card, which we will uh, we'll toss off to the side. So, so we can get everything uh, a little bit better here on camera. Um, Alright, well I guess what stands out first here? Uh, obviously Perexian Provoker isn't really as amazing and limited as it is in a constructed format, especially like in Legacy. I mean, the card's really great in like, Death and Taxes. Um, I don't know, things that stand out... First thing that stands out to me, yeah, would be the Nightcaster Spider. Um, if this wasn't in the pack, I would probably go for the Razor Fin Griffin as a high choice, just because as evasion, the first strike is nice, but this right here just completely counters that and makes the Griffin, uh, you know, not as great. Yeah. I do like the Elvish Mystic. I don't ever really feel great about passing up an Elvish Mystic at all, too. Sometimes, like, I, I have a bad taste in my mouth anytime I do actually draft one, and then I see it, like, mid to late game whenever I'm playing it in limited. I mean, you always kind of run the odds of that, seeing your seven drops in your opening hand and whatnot, but... I mean, at the same time, that Bush Mystic is just a really good pick. Yeah, like, all, all the green in the pack is really good. Yeah, like Naturalize is just concretely really good in most all scenarios. Like, we don't really have to worry about, like, Angelic Edict in this format and having to worry about, like, Black, White, Life Gain and making 4-4s four as much, but you still kind of have to worry about the enchantments and artifacts a decent bit, especially, like, in Soul Artifact on a turn to Ornithopter or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, I would say, like, Netcaster, I would probably look at Razor Foot Griffin just because there's barely any white in this pack as it is, so you kind of just you choke it off from there, and whoever is getting past your stuff is going to see, like, all right, well, there's not really that much white going on right here. Mm -hmm. um, so if anything, like, that might make me a little bit more inclined to grab the Razor Foot Griffin, but at the same time, I like Reach and the fact that it gets plus two plus so on top of the two three body yeah that's one of the, the better spires they've made for yeah. course in a long time so i think we can agree this one's first definitely all right um so yeah um from here mystic or razor foot probably the razor, razor foot. foot yeah the ramping's good but i like the evasion on that card uh flyers and evasion in uh m15 are really great yeah um mm -hmm. Hammerhand's pretty alright. It's like a filler card more so than anything. The snaps are. The interesting always. thing about this pack is that the creatures really aren't strong. The strongest cards are actually uh, probably Hammerhand and Eternal Thirst. Yeah. So because the, the pack has a lack of decent creatures in it, I'm more inclined to go for one of these enchantments yeah. to basically make something a better creature. I think Eternal Thirst more than anything. Yeah. It's it's just like kind of kind of like Gift of Orzova, but it doesn't have like flying or the uh, plus one plus one to the actual base power. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, whenever an opponent's creature dies, you get a plus one plus one counter, so that's not bad. But like Life Link and Limited is just one of my favorite stats abilities that there is so eternal thirst is usually well it's probably what i would go for right here absolutely um, i think i'm more inclined to grab that over like an elvish mystic so i would say eternal thirst um personally for me from here elvish mystic that, that, that sounds fun to me um from here um uh, child of night probably Child of Night or Hammerhand. I, I still yeah. like Hammerhand a lot just because if you really need to, you can use it as a removal as well, too. Yeah. Uh, this somewhat counts as removal, but really there's no true removal in this pack that doesn't really have sort of like a 
Are you thinking of Hammerhand as the, the, the one that deals damage, or... Because that's not the one that sacks and deals damage. Oh, that, that's that the block one. Nope, never mind. Yeah, that, that's why I was... As soon <laughs> as you said that it was removal... Sure. Yeah. As soon as you said that it was removal, I... I it was the other one. It was the like the, one, yeah. the burning <laughs> right. fist, whatever it is. That I don't remember what the name of it actually is. Um, but yeah, I would, I would probably have to say like Child of Night from here, so... Um, yeah, I think that's that's about fair for like a top five out of here. Um, yeah, anything else <laughs> worthy? I guess naturalized. Not really. Just just naturalized, knowing that it's out there. Shrapnel Blast is cool if you can cohesively manage to draft something around that. I mean, otherwise, I don't know. If cohesion's not really the biggest aspect of like M15 or of course at limited usually. Like last. Last year it kind of was, with Black White and um, the whole like enchantments um, enchantments matter kind of thing, like Bog Brew Witch and whatnot. That was kind of a thing that mattered, but um, I guess it's kind of like on the same realm of cohesiveness, where you could draft Shrapnel Blast into some particular like blue-red artifact, artificer type deck. Right. Um, but yeah, I guess other noteworthy things, naturalized trap of glass. That's, that's pretty much it. Yeah, pretty much it. So, um, to flip over the five cards that we did talk about, Eternal Thirst, Razor, Foot, Griffin, uh, Neckmaster Spider, Child of Knights, and Elvish Mystic. So let us know what you guys think about this draft pack, what you would first pick if you were in a draft scenario. But until next time, guys, peace out. If you guys want to keep up to date with everything that we have going on here at Absolute MTG, remember to hit that subscribe button, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for all of your Magic the Gathering needs. Also, remember to check out our sponsors of the channel, MTG Madness and AVUGames.com. But as always, thank you guys for watching.